So then the next day on Saturday we arrived and we arrived at like half past seven I think. So we arrived at a town called Kiruna. It's um, a rather big city. No, not. For, for the north it's a bigger town. Um, yeah, so we arrived at our hostel um, and first I think from eight o'clock we had a breakfast buffet that was the only food that was included. Um, the problem was we were all very tired and no one really was hungry. So the food was good but no one really wanted to eat so we had the breakfast buffet from eight to nine and then half of us went on a tour at 9. So we arrived at 7.30 and from 7.30 to 8 um, we had to change into a lot of warm stuff because up there it was cold. I think when we arrived we had like minus 9 degrees celsius which isn't cold for them but for us it's cold. So we had to change it was very we didn't have a lot of space and everyone was just going through the stuff, trying to find stuff, because, yeah, it was crazy. But we got all changed, got breakfast, and then half of us left for our first tour. And that was a um, combined tour of of a snowmobile and dog sleds, which was really good. It was one of my favorite things. So we arrived at the place where we started. We had to sign something that if we um, crashed the snowmobile that we had to pay. Um, then we got um, some warm stuff from them. Um, and then first we went on the snowmobile, which was so much fun, I really loved it. In the front, Rafi will be in the back, so if you come to any kind of problem... So we had two people were sitting on one snowmobile. I started because the other girl I was with, she was pretty scared. Um, so I started and she was the whole time, not that fast, not that fast. Um, the problem was at the beginning we were behind someone who was probably also pretty scared because she drove so slowly. It was so terrible. So at one point we had one guy from the place was driving at the front and showing us where to go. One was going at the back so no one would left behind and the one from the back at some uh, at one point drove to the one in front of me because she was so slow and told her to wait so we could go around her. So we did that and then it was pretty good because then I could go a little bit faster um, and I love going on a snowmobile. It's like the best thing ever. It's so much fun. That would be the only reason for me to move up there, to drive on a snowmobile. Because like so amazing. Um, yeah, so we did that for a little while, then we had a switching point where we made some pictures. It was so pretty. Because up there, um, right now, the sun comes up very late and goes down very early. So pretty much the whole time we had like sunset and sunrise. So it was so beautiful, the um, light was so great. Um, so we did some pictures and then we switched. The other one was, as I said, so scared that she was like, I don't want to do it, but she was fine. Um, and then, so the other one drove for a little bit.
then we came at um, some, I think, some tents. Welcome! Oh. <laughs> From the side, sit down. Let Rudolf warm you. From underneath. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, with a fire in the middle, which was great because it was so cold outside. So we warmed up a little bit on the fire. Then, what else? Yeah. Um, they were making some tea and coffee on the fire. So we had some tea, coffee, and some cakes, which was so good. Take a cake also. They're super good. There you have some apple. The chocolate cake, mmm, it was so good. So we drank some hot tea, ate some cake, and there we met with the people. So half of us did first the snowmobile, and half of us did first the, um, the dog sleds. So at that point we met, we had a little time there, just hung around, warmed up on the fire. <laughs> he was literally like playing the dead. And then we switched, so then we were doing the dog sleds, which was so cool. So we were sitting on the sled, um, mostly three or four people. So my group, we were three people. And one, the guide was standing at the back. And then I think we had like 11 or 12 dogs. And she told us, so while we were driving, she told us what the different positions are and told us about the dogs and all that stuff which was really interesting um, we got to see a little bit of sun and the woman told us it was the first time they saw the sun in like three months something like that which was crazy so we were lucky to see the sun and that was really fun going on the dog sled um, sometimes they were really fast which was I didn't expect that um, the only problem was because you're just sitting there, your legs or your feet just freeze. My, I couldn't feel my legs at all. It was so cold. But yeah, that was a great experience and I really loved it. <laughs> Faster than this normal. <laughs>
to lead the that we can't go in there. Yeah. Really? Like the biggest covered mine? Iron mine. mine. Yeah, yeah, I have that too. <laughs> yeah, he wants to go. Why did you all the for us? When we came back, we got to look at the little puppies. They were like half a year old. They were so cute. So we looked a little bit at the puppies and then we got ready and drove back to the to our hostel. Where we changed, we got some snowsuits or everyone who didn't have their own snow pants or something like that um, got a snowsuit. And then at like, yeah, I think we came back at 12. Yes, and at one we did the um, a guided tour through Kiruna for a little, around an hour. So our tour guide showed us some things. So first we went to a Sami church, I th or a church which was inspired by a Sami church, something like that. 
Um, and I think this year, last year, it was voted as the most important building in Sweden. Something like that. I, I can't remember. So we looked at that. It was really pretty because it was all out of wood and stuff. Um, then we went a little further and looked at the mine. Because in Kiruna they have a huge iron mine. It's huge. Um, I think it's the biggest one in Europe. So we looked at that. And then we walked a little bit in the city center where we ended. And directly afterwards, so we ended like at quarter to two. And at two I did the um, guided tour through the mine. The problem was it was completely full. There was only one spot and I was lucky enough to get that spot. Because I really wanted to do the tour. So yeah, I went directly from the guided tour to the tourist center and then on the bus to go to the mine. And it's like, it's such a huge mine and they do, as I said, they're doing iron. Um, yeah, so we went there first with the bus. Iron ore body inclines under us. Fine, you can see the Potomacan mountain, Kiru Navarra. And that's where we're heading today. Perhaps you see the Christmas tree there. That's where we're going now. It's a little bit smaller. So soon we are going to enter the mining. So they make artificial mountains with those. We have around five to seven billion ton of waste rock here outside. Uh, recycle uh, the special earth metals. And because it was still like the Christmas season, they had a little Christmas tea, Christmas tree on the top of the mine so as a special thing we went up there with the bus um, and took some pictures it was so freezing cold it was so windy and you when you were taking pictures with your phone you had to take off your gloves obviously your hand was just freezing it was so cold up there it was crazy Then we went back on the bus, she told us a little bit about um, what's going on on the outside and then we went with the bus um, to the inside. There's one level, I think she said was the main level in the 80s? Something like that. So we went to this level and there's like a visitor center. And it has to read the tag before it, the gate opens for us. So, welcome underground. Where they show you what they do, how it works, all that stuff. So we got to see that. I think I have a little bit of footage, but not too much, because you couldn't see that much. She mostly just explained what happened. And at the end, they are um, producing little iron balls. And at the end, every one of us got a little package with them, which was really cool. Um, yeah, so that was that. And I think that ended at four. Was it four or was it five? Maybe it was five. I think we were there for three hours, which was a long time. I think it ended at five or 
quarter to five, and at five I was back at the hostel. And back in the bus again. So the tour is over. I'm really cold. And now I'm back to my hotel. And hopefully I get the keys for my room and then can go into to the room. Because I'm so tired. I didn't really sleep a lot this night. So yeah, I'm incredibly tired and just need to sit or lay in bed for a little bit so hopefully that works out at that point I finally could go into my room because beforehand it wasn't open so I finally could put my stuff in my room um, we had a four-person room like a hostel um, I think I didn't film that but four beds nothing there um, the toilet and stuff was on the corridor so yeah and then I made myself a little bit for dinner I think I had um, I had a lot of soup pulver and stuff like that so I guess I had a soup I'm not sure anymore I'll make now some hot chocolate and probably also one of those and some cookies there were a lot of people who were very prepared with food. I wasn't. I wasn't prepared at all, so yeah. I had mostly soup and cookies, so I had that. Then I think I was like an hour in my room just relaxing. And at, I think at eight, or at half past, I think half past eight, we met again outside to problem to try to see some northern lights. But unfortunately it was completely cloud covered. So we were like, okay, we try again at half past nine. So we went back in. I went into the kitchen with some other ones and we talked a little bit. And then at half past nine we met again outside and tried to see some northern lights. Unfortunately it was completely cloud covered, so no possibility. So we just, we waited there for probably half an hour, something like that and then went back to the hostel and we were all so tired because pretty much no one really slept on the bus so yeah we pretty much went back went to bed used a little bit of the wi-fi which was absolutely terrible it was so bad yeah and then slept until the next morning because we were just so tired yeah I think that was every for everything for the first day, or the first two days. Um, I guess it was long enough. So I guess I will stop this video here. And if you want to see what else I did, wait until tomorrow and until the next video. So I see you tomorrow.